meet Angelo de Agostino, the owner of El Italiano Pizza in Sayulita. There are many great pizza restaurants here, but you, the locals of Sayulita, chose his pizza as the best in our first ever Best of the Best series. Good pizza! <laughs> <laughs> the worst! Welcome everyone! Last Friday we asked you to vote for the best pizza in town and Sayulita Insider's Best of the Best. And we're here with the winner, the most voted, El Italiano. My name is Daniel, I'm your host for this segment. So now let's go check out El Italiano Pizzas. Angelo is from the small town of Pescara on the Adriatic Sea. Nearly 20 years ago, he opened a Vivo Ristorante with his brother. The pair received numerous culinary awards, and in 2013, Angelo left his brother to take a vacation. As happens to many of us, Angelo stumbled upon Sayulita and decided to stay. We visited Angelo to see him in action and to try to steal his secret recipes. We spent an evening sweating it out Woo! with him at the restaurant. Oh my God, guys, the weather here is insane. You never complain about the price of your pizza again. It doesn't take long for an oven at 270 degrees to heat a small concrete room. Angelo opened El Italiano in 2017. At the time, it was a 20 meter square cube in a hotel construction site. Angelo made the pizza there and dropped orders all over town on his moto. In 2019, the hotel was completed and Angelo painted the walls, added tables on the outdoor terrace and made a small garden around the tables where diners can enjoy the cool breeze on a hot day. Angelo arrives around 5 to begin preparations. If there is not a candle already burning from the previous night, Angelo begins his day by lighting a new one. It's very important, he told us, to call in the good energy from the day. Yes, una cosa para mi After this, he lights the oven and makes the pomodoro sauce, a simple red sauce. So basically, this is how it looks, uh, traditional pomodoro sauce. This is a very traditional recipe and this is a very unique recipe from Angelo. This is ready, so we're gonna try it and see how it is. We're gonna go for a nice little spoon and mm, delicious. In the refrigerator are mouths of dough that he made that morning. When an order comes in, he removes a tray of dough, cuts out one mound of each pizza, and lays it on his floured granite countertop. Kneading carefully, he forms a thin circle that will become the pizza crust. So right now, Angelo is getting everything ready for me because I am going to prepare a margarita pizza. Well, he's actually gonna teach me how to prepare a margarita pizza. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do my best here, guys. I'm gonna try to do this pizza. Okay, I'm not a professional. Si o no? Okay, so he's saying I didn't do a great job, but I tried my best. Great. So that he did there was removing the extra flour I put on the dough because I put a lot. He then spoons the sauce in the center and spreads it over the crust. So I'm gonna put the pomodoro sauce in our pizza dough yeah. now. This is very tricky. This is very difficult. It might look easy, but it's very difficult. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job or not. Just trying my best. So pizza dough extended. Angel helped me remove the extra flour. He adds the toppings 
covers the pizza with mozzarella. It's very important to put all the ingredients all over in the pizza, so every time you pick a piece, you, you grab a piece of pizza, you're gonna have all the components in that piece, okay? And it's ready for the oven. Okay, look at this beauty. Okay, this is going in the oven, same four to five minutes. And this is a classic margarita pizza. Um, I'm afraid of doing this, but I'm gonna give it a nice shot. He slides a tray under the pizza, place it in the oven, and definitely slides it back out. In a couple of minutes, he leaves the pie and place it on a wire mesh tray. So once we put the pizza in the oven, we don't wait for it there uh, until the end. We have to flip it a few times. And actually, Angelo just told us that uh, first you have to use lay it on the hot stones that we have in the oven to give it to try to make that first cross on the bottom of the pizza. Once we make that, we have to lift the pizza up and place it into one of these metal trays until it's finished, okay? So it doesn't burn on the, on the bottom. In such intense heat, the crust and ingredients are cooked and the cheese melted to golden brown perfection in just a few minutes. Angelo prepares a box, removes the pizza, drizzles olive oil on the crust and places it in the box with a spring of fresh basil and a small container of chili oil. Eco la pizza. And now we're gonna cut this pizza. This pizza is for my kids. They just sent me a message through WhatsApp requesting for a pizza. So, oh, there it is. <laughs> Again, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching this episode. See you next week for the best of the best by Sayulita Insider.